Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again in Sabahan uh, in France. Uh, today, tonight I will going to cook. Um, it's a shepherd's pie or maybe cottage cottage uh, pie, but I will put it with the beef. So these are the ingredients. So the ingredients are minced beef, uh, five hundred gram, um, one onion and four uh, mushrooms you can add um, as many as you want and um, vegetables two carrots um, snow peas and uh, some uh, tomato puree some of the pesto rosso or any um, any tomato passata also can but I'm using this one because they have it in inside my pantry. I use it for what I have right now. Uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. And some of the herbs, I would like to put some parsley. Uh, herbs de Provence. Some fenugreek. Um, this one, uh, bay leaf. I would like to put also paprika, but unfortunately I don't, I'm run out of the paprika. But you can put it paprika, it will be better. So, and a potato for the, the potato puree and we put it on top of it. Okay, so I will cut it and then we will start to cook. Now I um, saute the mushroom and I'm going to caramelize. And then I also um, uh, boil the, the carrots until it's soft. Then I boil the potato. Potato is like um, 15 potatoes like that. And I cut it into four pieces so that it's uh, cooked easily and uh, quickly. All right. Then okay, I'll... Now, now I put aside already the the mushroom, caramelized mushroom, and also for the uh, carrot. And then right now I'm going to uh, saute the um, the onion. Okay, until it's uh, brown, browning. At the same time, I will put the um, herb de Provence. Okay, uh, it's a mixed herb. They got oregano already inside there. The um, mm, uh, the rosemary all the time. Okay, I um cook it until it's uh, browning all right now I put a, a, a teaspoon of fenugreek also you can over here you can put any herbs that you want if you would like to put paprika paprika is the best to put if you would like to make it a bit hot you can put the cayenne a bit but I'm not gonna put it hot because uh, my children will be eating as well so this is the best time to put your spices and I'm so putting uh, ginger powder. All right, when onion already brown, so you can put your beef inside already. Okay, and then uh, cook it until um, it's almost cooked. Okay. All right. Um, right now it's already cooked like this. But we need to cook it until the water is evaporated. Then we put the rest of our uh, ingredients, which is um, the next one will be uh, tomato puree. So when already like this, the water is already evaporated. Now you put your tomato puree. I put it two teaspoon. Okay. Then I stir it. Okay, now um, it's the beef like this already with the tomato puree. Right now, I'm putting in the pesto inside the whole bottle of it. Then I stir. Okay.
okay um just now already put the tomato puree and then um i put also this one the pesto rosso inside but half of it i just put half of it if it's not really um you cannot really taste the tomato yet you can put the whole but i can i put the half on it. then right now it's like this then i take some of the water from the potato then i put it a bit to make it go down okay voila Okay. Now I'm putting the um, salt, a bit only, not too much, like a quarter of the teaspoon of uh, salt because uh, from the pesto, rosso and also tomato puree they already have a bit of salt and pepper, the uh, half teaspoon also can, okay, then I stir. Then I put the snow peas inside. And also um, mushroom and um, carrot. So I put it all together. Voila. Then I stir. Then to follow the taste, okay? Okay, right now it's like this. Then I put the um, uh, uh, Parmesan cheese. Okay, Parmesan cheese. Then I stir it. Mm. So right now I uh, put it like this. Okay. Then put it aside like right now i'm making a potato puree so i already drained the water this is how it is and then i put the um, uh, butter inside let it melt by itself and then i put the uh, some uh sorry some milk also not too much milk okay um salt half a quarter of teaspoon salt and uh, pepper all right okay there you go then i smash it while while the uh, butter melting so i smash it all together okay then this is how the way to <laughs> to do quickly Okay, now it's like this, the potato puree, then I put uh, some parsley to make it a bit color, so that uh, the potato puree is a bit beautiful. Then after that, I will put it to here on top of it. Okay, now I'm stirring. See, how is the color? Nice. Okay, okay, now everything is already all together. The the taste is good already then I put it on top of it all of them on top okay then put it nicely Okay, right now it's like this already. I already put all the um, potato puree um, up there, so you can see down there is the um, the beef. Then this time I'm going to put the parmesan, sprinkle it with the parmesan a bit, so that it can be golden. Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm not using um, I I'm not using the mozzarella right now because. I think it's too much for to putting the mozzarella so I think a parmigiano reggiano would be 
fair enough already to put it inside okay so after that I will going to um, pop it in the oven okay okay right now it's done I would like to pop it inside the oven okay for 30 minutes 180 degrees okay serasa I serasa I think it's already cooked I will put it out then I will show it to you all voila my shepherd's pie is done the meat is down there and then on top of it with the parmesan so that it's nice okay voila